Hello again guys, WBBA here, coming to you with another video. Today I'm going to tell you how to make your Minecraft not lag. So, we're going to open our Minecraft launcher as always. Going to select your chosen, you know, version of Minecraft. I'm going to go with default, which is Minecraft 1.8. It should be 1.8.1 because this is a tutorial for 1.8.1. So you're going to go to Edit Profile. You see where it says Java Settings Advanced? You're going to click that and, well, it actually says a lot more stuff here than it should. I don't know why that is. But here it'll say GVM Arguments. This will normally be unticked. You should untick it. I mean, you should tick it, my mistake. And this will allocate a certain amount of RAM to your game. So, for example, if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, normally do half of your RAM or just under half so 3 gigabytes or 4 if you have 16 8 if you have 4 2 simple so for me I have 8 so I did 4 gigabytes of RAM this will make Minecraft run a lot better than it normally would because the more RAM your computer has or the more RAM Minecraft has the easier it will be to get higher FPS so I'll go back to you when I'm in game so now we're in Minecraft Let's go into, let's create a new world, because, why the hell not, let's just name it blah 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 blah. I'm going creative, and let's do, hmm, let's just do normal, actually. Okay, we're going to create this world, and I will show you the settings that you could use to get better FPS. So let it build the terrain first, the terrain, not the terrain, my mistake. Can't talk today for anything. So... I am getting 60 FPS, this is because I have V-Sync turned on, let me turn that off quickly. Okay, so now we are in Minecraft 1.8.1, I turn off Vertical Sync in the control panel. So as you guys probably already know, Minecraft 1.8.1, or 1.8 in general, isn't that well optimized, and I don't really get that high FPS. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well how can I get better FPS? Well I'm going to show you the video settings to get better FPS. I'm going to go in F3 mode at first to see my FPS. My FPS is bouncing from 91 to 100 plus. Oh no, my mistake, 80 something. But that's because Minecraft 1.8 is just not optimized. So we're going to first escape, options, video settings. And here are the default Minecraft settings. Actually, no, render this is set to 12, but here's your normal Minecraft settings. I'm going to turn graphics fast what that will do is that will make all the trees look well not transparent it will make the shadows look slightly different not that different but it's a tiny bit noticeable you're gonna go to your render distance well, I'll do that last I'm gonna set smooth lighting to off what that will do is it will turn off all smooth lighting effects it will make the lighting more stone cold no you know smoothness to the shadows this brings a big boost to performance mainly because it actually helps with the CPU if you don't have a powerful CPU you know this would help a bit you're gonna go to max and well no max framing doesn't really change anything brightness that's really your choice that doesn't change anything clouds off this will give you Mm, not too much of a performance boost, but as you can see, I'm more stable. Well, once again, I am recording, so that changes everything as well. Full screen? Mm, you have to keep that on, because if you play with off, it'll kind of look awkward. Mit now, mitmap levels. Set that to off. That's bec All that really does is smooth everything from a far distance. And it will really drop your FPS, considering it has to use more of your CPU load, and you need that to help your Minecraft, alongside GPU as well. Particles? Set that to minimal. That will give you a big boost when there's a lot of particles on screen, e.g. if I had TNT. So let's do a TNT quickly. Yeah. It will make the particles you just seen there, like the smoke, less well detailed I don't really know the word gonna go back to video settings 
I'm gonna turn off VBOs. I don't really know what that does. Um, I think it's a new chunk rendering system. That's probably why 1.8 just doesn't work so well. Has a new chunk loading system. Uh, that's most likely gonna boost your performance. It can, it cannot. It varies from computer to computer. Alternate blocks. Have that off. I already have that turned off. Normally it's on, but what I'll do is in certain resource packs or texture packs, for example, it will have different shades to a certain block. It's hard to explain. I don't even really know what that is. All I know is that it will change something in your resource pack. Entity shadows. Turn that off. What that will do is, for example, let's spawn um, a ch no, let's get a cow. Underneath a cow, there would be a shadow. Now, this doesn't really change your performance. This only changes your performance when you're on, say, a server. So, that doesn't really change anything. Now, the big hit to performance is your render distance. As you can see, I'm on a 16 chunk render distance. Quite nice, in fact, actually. But, I want better performance. I'm staying around 200 FPS. I don't want 200 FPS. I want a lot more. So you see when the distance, you want to sit that all the way down to 2. Wow, I'm getting a 1000 FPS. A l well, because I was in the air, you couldn't see any blocks. But look at my FPS, a 1100, you know, a 1300 now, a 1400. Wow, that's a lot. You should really consider doing this, because this will help all PCs if you ever need more performance. Wow, I'm getting a thousand three hundred FPS to a thousand five hundred, no, four hundred FPS. My mistake, not five hundred. Wow, I never knew any computer could do a thousand FPS. Well, some could, but you know, those are quite expensive. This is a budget PC I'm on right now. So, wow, that's really good. So, I advise you continue watching the video if you want to see how to make it faster if you're on an NVIDIA computer because that overall will make your performance a lot better so you've, if you have an NVIDIA GPU sorry AMD and Intel HD users don't really know how to fix that but if you have NVIDIA continue watching the video because I will be showing you NVIDIA control panel okay, and we're back so if you have NVIDIA installed like you have an NVIDIA graphics card or integrated HD graphics like integ integrated NVIDIA graphics then this will be quite quick for you you're gonna right click your desktop and then there will be an NVIDIA control panel it will be right above new and right under paste you're gonna click NVIDIA control panel wait for that to load for a minute I'll make it full screen when it loads so you're gonna be greeted with this the 3D settings you, you won't really know what this is I'm about to show you what that does. So, first you're going to do adjust image settings with preview. Now, you're going to click use the advanced 3D image settings. What this will do is it will let you have more configuration. It's really helpful actually. You're going to go to manage 3D settings and you're going to turn everything down. And I mean everything. So, ambient, wait, yeah, ambient occultation, set that to off. Anisotropic filtering off, anti-aliasing off, gamma correction. If your graphics card supports it, have it on. Anti-aliasing mode off, so that will disable both of these anyways. Cue the GPUs all. If you set that to off, it will disable CUDA and it will give you a big downfall in your FPS. DSR factors definitely have that off. What that does, it will render the game in multiple forms. So if I was to set that to one, it would times my resolution by 1.20 so it's best to keep that off maximum pre-rendered frames set that to 4 what I'll do it will give you better performance at increased latency which is not even noticeable and mix GPU acceleration set that to multiple display that will make it so your GPU works more to output more displays so say I'm gaming on two monitors having a multiple display would give me better performance overall power management mode prefer maximum performance if you have it on adaptive it will decrease your performance at the lack of having less power it's really not different if you have a small power supply or a small power supply in like your iMac or something with in in video graphics it's best to just have it you know 
prefer maximum performance. Shade of cache or cache on. Texture filtering on. This actually helps you, so believe it or not. Top the texture filtering negative load bias allow. Texture filtering quality performance. Texture filtering trilinear. Uh, tri linear don't know how the hell you say that. Optimization on. Federal optimization auto. Triple buffering. Ah, this is where everything gets fun. Set that to on. Vertical sync on. Click apply. And go back into Minecraft. So I'll see you when I'm in Minecraft. Before we go back into Minecraft, we're going to learn about a thing called Optifine. So what Optifine is, is it is a mod de made, well designed to double the FPS, make the FPS a lot higher. So, I'm going to go to Downloads, and we're going to look for your desired Minecraft version. If you're on Minecraft 1.7.10, if you want to use shaders, get what one it re recommends you to use. But, because we're in 1.8.1, we want to use 1.8.1. So, normally you should go for the top one, because that's the latest one, always check to update it, this is Optifine HD Ultra, so this will allow you to have even HD texture packs, so I'm going to download that quickly, and let's close these tabs, let's drag that to the desktop, and let's open it, oh, wait, so if you have WinRAR, it will normally open in WinRAR, but what you need to do is you have to click open with, like right click it, then click open with, then Java TM Platform SE Binary. Because recently they've changed the way the files work. So right here it should say Optifine HD Ultra C4, this installer will install Optifine for Minecraft Launcher and create a new profile, Optifine for it. You're going to click install. Now it's installed, you're going to go back into Minecraft. So, it should automatically load the file Optifine, like the profile. Set the RAM again. So, set that to 4 gigabytes or 2 if you have 4, because most of the people who have slower PCs watch these videos. I'll see you when I'm in Minecraft. So, we are back in Minecraft, and as you can see, well, I've installed Optifine. My FPS is at 60. The reason for this is because. I have vertical sync turned on. What vertical sync is, is it caps your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate. Most monitors have a refresh rate of 60. Most of the more higher end ones have 75 and on and so forth. So now we're going to go back into our video settings. And as you can see, there's a lot more stuff to do. Now there's a smooth lighting level. So what this will do is will change the amount of smooth lighting there is in the lighting. So mostly you should have this set to off. That will give you superior performance. Render distance. Set that to tiny. Graphics fast. Bobbing. VBO. Atomic blocks off. Details. The sky, sun and moon and everything else. You can't actually see them so it doesn't matter. Fast render off because that will literally give you a huge performance boost. Like this, only use these settings if you're still lagging. If you're still lagging, then I advise you to use these settings. Now, if you're still lagging, I doubt any of you will. But if you're still lagging, there's only one more solution. And that's to go to options, video settings, other, and full screen mode. What this will allow you to do is it will allow you to change your resolution in Minecraft. So, I suggest 1280 by 720. But I'm not going to do that because that glitches out my monitor. It, if it works for you, it will work for you. If it doesn't work for someone else, it doesn't work for them. Ooh, items. Ooh, ooh. Well, I guess that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped you all out a lot. Anyways, I'm WBBA. Peace out. Bye.